I'm Tim Selesky. I'm a woodworker here in the Seattle area. I also write for Popular Woodworking Magazine, and I have an online blog called woodworking.digital. Recently, I've been writing a lot about a group of CNC machines that I'm particularly enthused about. This group has a lot in common. Besides their size, which is two foot by three foot to two foot by four foot, the engineering, the choice of components, and a lot of the details and the way that they work is very similar. It seemed like it was a good time to show you around a machine, so I thought today I would show you and give you a review of one in that class, the Laguna IQ, which is a two foot by three foot CNC. Let's have a look. Let's talk about the layout of the Laguna. It's a three feet by two feet CNC. What that means is the area right here is the area that you work in. So it's three feet in this direction, which is the Y axis, and two feet in this direction, which is the X axis. It also has a clearance height or Z height of about six inches. So that means you can mill up to a height of about six inches. The net result of all that is that you could machine pretty much anything you want within this space, two feet by three feet by six inches. Now note that the machine itself is a little longer than that. This is standard for any CNC machine because the gantry takes up a certain amount of space. So in reality, the, the bed of this machine, the whole space, is about 52 inches by about 32 inches. Well, there's a little more about the layout I should tell you about the Laguna. The Laguna comes with a bonus of sorts. So in reality, it's not just this 36 inch length in the Y axis that it does. It'll actually overhang by around four inches. It cuts a little over a thousand millimeters. And so what is the use for this? Well, one of the great things you could do with a CNC is to do joinery. And if you have this much overhang, you could set up some sort of holding devices and clamping stations down here. And then you could do CNC joinery. You might attempt dovetails, other vertical things that would be almost impossible to do in terms of on this flat bed. So definitely it's a desirable feature and one of the nice things about the Laguna IQ. The foundation of a CNC is one of the most important parts. I'm a big advocate of a very stiff, very flat bed. And the reason of, for this is, is if you start off with something that's very straight and very flat, anything you put on it is gonna come out very straight and very flat. Well, the Laguna, what it has is it's a welded steel box construction frame. You can kind of see down here. And that makes for a very stiff frame for a given amount of weight. Now, the, all this doesn't mean that the Laguna is lightweight. By no means it's not. It weighs over 450 pounds. But with a stiff frame, what that means is, is essentially there'll be no dipping in the center when the mass of this gantry moves along. So if it's at a given height here, it's gonna be the same height here. And so you should be able to expect an accuracy over the length of the sped of say a few thousandths of an inch. And starting with that kind of accuracy means that your work will be accurate too. So a lot of credit for Laguna on building a good frame. Let's look at the bed a little bit. The Laguna takes a slightly different approach than its two competitors, Axiom and Powermatic. They use, uh, a, it looks like a, an aluminum extruded piece that's all T-Track. Nothing wrong with that. It allows you to move clamps and parts anywhere you want. Laguna has a different approach. So what they've done is they started with a flat surface to which they've attached uh, aluminum T-Track interspersed with, looks like about a one inch thick MDF. Now the benefits of this approach is, is this bed is in a very fixed, very precise position. And that makes it easy to have uh, some sort of orientation of parts that way as well. So for example, I, I could drill holes along here and put pins in here and align those with the drawings that I'm doing on, the, on my computer screen when I'm doing my CAD drawings. So I'm able to mill apart in exactly this position, exactly this position, etc., etc., each time. So if I was to do, say, four parts, I could put a part here, a part here, a part here, a part here, and it would be in the exact position. Whereas if you have a movable bed, uh, an open T-Track bed, there is no fixed positions. There's a lot of ways to do CNC, and just like all woodworking. This happens to be a feature that I like. It gives me precision, and it gives me predictability. Along with a good frame, you need a solid gantry that doesn't flex as well. Behind these shields is a welded steel supports, 
And then the gantry itself is made out of, uh, it looks like about uh, six inches by an inch and a quarter thick piece of aluminum that's been milled for the job. So there won't be any flexing as it moves back and forth this way. Definitely a gantry is an important component of any CNC and this is a particularly good one. Now let's have a look at some of the components on the Laguna IQ. One of the most important parts of any CNC is uh, the parts that allow it to move accurately. We already talked about how the bed needs to be flat and perfect, but the machine has to move in perfect motions without any dip or any flex or any change as well. And that's done with some sort of alignment system. And in this case, the Laguna and its competitors use what are called linear rails. You can see them right here. There's one on each side of the y-axis and a pair here on the z-axis. Linear rails are a very expensive component. And the reason is, is they're machined to a very high level. So that they're extremely accurate in terms of being flat and the lines are perfectly straight. So with a really accurate system like that, you're able to get very accurate machining on top and very smooth motions as it moves. There are other methods for alignment. There's V-rails, uh, rods, uh, some rack and pinion systems, etc. But linear rails are definitely one of the best things you could do for a small and medium-sized CNC. Along with linear rails, one of the best components you could add for the actual motion of the CNC machine is ball screws. Laguna IQ uses ball screws. You can see them right here. There's one here, one here on the Z-axis, one through the center of the table for the Y-axis. Ball screws, again, are a highly machined, highly accurate component. And they're one of the best possible solutions on a CNC if you want very accurate movements. So the combination, linear rails, ball screws, are some of the best things you can have on a small CNC. The next component I'd like to talk about is the spindle. The Laguna IQ uses a water-cooled spindle. It's a 2.2 kilowatt or around 3 horsepower water-cooled spindle. Now, what does water-cooled spindles do for a woodworker? Well, first of all, you can run them for hours and hours on end. They don't even get warm, so they don't tend to wear out. Second of all, they're much, much quieter than a router. Now, it's one thing to use a router, handheld router, to make a little cut, turn it off, set it down. It's quite something else if you're going to run one of these for 8 and 10 hours a day. And when I do 3D carving, it's pretty common that I could make those lengths of runs. So that's a great component. I'm glad to see it on a machine of this class. I mentioned the Laguna uses a water-cooled spindle. What we didn't talk about is the way that it's cooled. Laguna's choice is to use a four-gallon bucket of water with a submersible water pump in it that you have to make sure that's plugged in in order for it to work, and that pumps water through the system. Hopefully in the future they consider the idea of a closed-loop system. And by that, you can get these little fans with a radiator system and a small pump. And that way, there's no bucket of water. It's just all self-contained. It'd be a great improvement. In reality, the bucket system works just fine. There's lots of CNCs that have worked that way in the past. But a closed-loop system is dust-free. It's simple. It turns on when you turn the machine on. And it works really well. I hope Laguna uh, looks at this in the future.